on you guys welcome back to another video and to the channel in this video I am going to be coating my recently installed LCI style headlights that I have on my pre LCI F3335 I you can actually see the LCI headlights on right now behind me so on my last video I did a full complete install and overview of these LCI style headlights where I showed you guys how to install them and just showed you guys how they look and function and everything now if you watched that video, you guys know one of the quirks of these headlights is that the side marker or the turn signal, the orange light that is on the top side of the headlight that acts as your turn signal, it is always on and active constantly whenever the low beams are on. So whenever you're driving at night and you have to turn on the low beams, the side marker is always on. You can kind of see it right now, but it is kind of bright in here. Um, but that light at the top there is always on. and for me, and I feel like a lot of you guys out there also, um, I do not like that look. I would rather have, you know, the authentic LCI look where that is not constantly on whenever the low beams are on. And as a lot of you guys requested, I am going to be showing you guys how to code that off with Beamer Code. Now, for those of you who may not know what Beamer Code is, it is basically a coding app that you can download onto your phone. Um, in connection with a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter. You can connect your phone to that Bluetooth OBD2 adapter when, once you plug it in, and it allows you to basically code certain features on or off on the car. There's all sorts of features you can code to be activated or deactivated, certain things you want to activate that aren't activated from factory, or you can deactivate certain things you don't like that are programmed initially into the car. And one of the things you can code is for the side markers, I believe that's what they're called in the app, to always be off whenever the low beams are on. So I'm specifically gonna be showing you guys how to code that out. It is super easy. For those of you who've used Beamer Code before, this is gonna be really easy, not difficult at all. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video here. All right, so here I have the LCI style headlights with the low beams activated. And you guys can see it has a nearly identical look to actual LCI style headlights with the exception of the side marker up top here which acts as the turn signal. But yeah, as I mentioned, it is always active and constantly on whenever the low beams are on as you guys can see just like this. So like I said, I'm going to be coding this to always be off whenever the low beams are on like this and it'll only activate whenever you have your hazards on or use your turn signal or when you lock and unlock the car. So yeah, nothing too crazy here. It should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and jump into the car so that I can show you guys how to open up Beamer code and connect it to the Bluetooth adapter and all that stuff. All right, so I'm inside the car now and like I mentioned, the two things you are going to need to do this coding are Beamer code on your phone in the form of the app Beamer code app and then you're also going to need an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. I got this off Amazon for I believe $26, around $30, not too crazy. And then for the app, uh, you actually have to buy like a license to use it I believe uh, and that cost me $30. I'm honestly not sure if it's still the same price. I did buy this like a few years ago. So I'm not sure if the prices are the same for both of these items, but it shouldn't be too crazy. Uh, hopefully it'll still be around like $60 for both of these. But yeah, so to get started here, all you need to do is connect this into the OBD2 port, which is down there by the trunk button. Go ahead and put this in. There we go. And once it's connected, a blue light will activate and that to let you know that it's on and getting power. All right, so then we come back over here to the phone and we go ahead and connect. Then you have to select your vehicle. I have the 3 Series, so go ahead and click that one, it's already selected. Go ahead and continue. And then the car will activate once it's connected, everything will turn on. And then it's going to read the vehicle data. This usually takes like a couple minutes, so just be a little patient here. Alright, so it finally connected. So to code these side markers off, you're going to go to Front Electronic Module. And it's going to, again, read coding data, and this usually takes a few minutes also, so again, just be patient here. Alright, so once that connects, uh, you can see all the features that you can code, but we're going to be focusing on the side marker, so we're going to scroll down, kind of towards the bottom, I believe, till you get to 
US side markers right here. You guys can see there are three different options, but to turn off these side markers, we're just gonna do the first option up there. And as you guys can see, it is currently set to have the turn signals as the side markers, but we wanna turn those off, so we just simply select off, and then we go back, and then that's all we have to do. That is it, uh, nothing else. Uh, you can code some other things in here if you want, if you want to check those out. But once we're done with that, we just go to the top where it says code. We'll go ahead and touch that. Then it gives you an important note to make sure that your battery is charged sufficiently so that it doesn't, you know, uh, the car doesn't turn off or anything. Also, it tells you to disconnect any Wi-Fi or other Bluetooth connections you have with the phone so that nothing interrupts the connection during the coding process. And I already put my phone on airplane mode so nothing is connected. And now that everything is good, I'll go ahead and start coding. And now it's gonna be doing whatever it needs to do to change the coding of the side markers. Should be pretty quick since it's uh, only one thing we changed. And then as you guys can see, it restarts the car, the ECU. And then if it's successful, it will tell you. So we are good to go. Now, you can go ahead and check if it worked. Turn on the low beams. There we go. You can see they are on, so let's go take a look. And there you have it, guys. They are no longer on, and we now have the authentic LCI low beam look. Definitely looks a lot cleaner like this. And to finish up on your phone here, you can just go back if you're done coding and then disconnect like that. And then it'll take you back to this page and then you're good. So there you have it, you guys. It is super easy to code out the side markers, the turn signals to be off with the low beams so that you can get this look, the authentic LCI look. Looks so clean, looks so much better like this in my opinion. I did think it looked kind of cool with the yellow active and the side markers on because it just kind of gave it a different look, you know, a unique look so that you don't look like every other LCI, you know, BMW F30 on the road. But I think that this has the cleaner look. The orange just kind of looks out of place, honestly, I don't know, since nothing else on the car is orange. This look just fits better overall. Now, actually, I kinda wanna just check and see that they still function the same, and that literally the only difference is that they are not, the side markers, the turn signals aren't active with the low beams. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off real quick here. Go ahead and turn the car off. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock and unlock the car real quick. See how that looks. Now usually when you unlock the car, the DRLs activate, but I believe it's only active if you have the headlights on or the headlight option on like this. So let's see that again. There we go. So even when you do this, um, just the DRLs activate. Before when I would unlock the car, the DRLs would activate with the side marker on also. So now that is deactivated and it looks like this, which I do like a lot better. All right, so I believe everything still functions normally with the exception of the side markers now deactivated. So I think we are good here. All right, so there you guys have it. That is how you code out the side markers to be off using Beamer code. Super easy, not difficult at all. All you need to do is download the Beamer code app and get a Bluetooth uh, adapter. I got mine from Amazon and I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to check one out and get one for yourself so that uh, you guys can do this same thing if you end up getting LCI style headlights. And just in case you guys aren't aware, these LCI style headlights are available on inline6auto.com with a bunch of other aftermarket accessories for BMW F30. 
I'll leave a link to that website if you guys want to check anything out by any chance in the description also. And let me know if you guys have any other questions about the car or these headlights. I am still working on trying to figure out how to code out the adaptive headlight malfunction that pops up on the dash because of these headlights since they are aftermarket, not OEM. So look out for a future video regarding that because I do want to figure out how to get rid of that. It is kind of annoying and inconvenient, you know, just not having a clean dash with no warnings and all that. So that is gonna wrap up this video, you guys. I just wanted to do a shorter, quicker little video on how to code those out since a lot of you guys requested for me to show you guys how to code out the side markers. There you have it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you liked what you saw. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.